In this video, I want to discuss this uh, example of generic analysis for the news websites. And uh, this was a decent piece of uh, work here. Uh, the length was basically there. Uh, it should have been developed a little bit longer. I copied and pasted this to a Word document, but in the submission box of uh, Blackboard's assignment uh, box space, uh, this was this was just right at the limit. And uh, so I accepted it. I looked at it, but uh, and there was no penalty. But but uh, it, it needed to be developed, and the, the, the student actually had work to develop. Um, after reviewing online news at websites, they came a lot of similarities. Okay, one very obvious one would be that every news site, there are one's main... Um, <clears throat> on every news site, there was one... Okay. One main story. Be, this this should go without... Well, I guess, I guess we could let that in. I mean, but... But at one point, if it gets so obvious, it's not worth mentioning. For example, don't mention that a common element these have is that they all talk about news articles. Well, that's by the definition of the term, all right? So I think that barely squeaks in. Another thing I noticed that uh, all these news sites link to social networking sites, okay? They also shared uh, having individual topics to choose from. Uh, so they had sections, right? Political section, fitness section, health section, entertainment section, okay? Along with the most of these websites had color. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, good job. Now let's go down here to this this one right here. These websites also have an underlying similarity that you might not first see at first. Oh, you know, by the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it right here. And then if you want to read this, expand the screen and pause the video and you should be able to read it. Um, so let's let's begin here again at the second paragraph. These websites also have an underlying similarity that you might not see at first. A lot of the main stories on these websites either have to do with the government, politics, or some kind of international story that may be affecting us. You know what? I don't know. That, I, that, that's a superficial thing. I mean, news always seems to have some national news and world news, and the world news is going to deal with this. So, um, why don't we do this? Okay, get that out of there. I noticed from looking at the stories, that a lot of the websites have articles about improving oneself and improving mental health. Okay, now look, if you just focus on this, I think that you can show that there are at least four sites of the 15 I gave you, more, that have a specific section for mental health. All right, so I would agree that that is actually a depth characteristic. And for much of the work I saw, the depth characteristics that were labeled as such really weren't. They were superficial. All right, but there were two or three or four that were actually trying to find something underneath, and I think this might be one of them. I think this is because it will draw more people in to read the stories surrounding and surrounding stories because everyone is looking to help themselves, benefit themselves. Another very common article topic on the main page is a story about an animal, whether it be an animal helping someone in need or just an animal showing up tricks. Animals have a tendency to make people happy, so I think having animals will draw people into... You know what? This student actually did too, because I, I would agree that that's another in-depth characteristic. Now, what are you going to do with this? Because you, you saw two of them. Are you going to be able to work them into one section with unity? Maybe if you talk about a tendency to have stories that make people feel good about themselves. Maybe then you can work both of them. So this student actually stumbled onto a peculiar problem in that he or she actually found two in-depth qualities that genuinely were in-depth qualities. But they, they sort of destroy the unity of the one section unless you figure out a way to tie them up together. Now, um... I would also, the thing that I think that would make this stronger is if you actually listed some of the main sites up here and some of the sites that share the depth characteristic. And um, now here down here is an explanation that is basically what was mentioned up here. So I think that there was some, some material up here that was repeated down in here. But, you know, because of the student's ability to meet the basic requirements of the assignment, which is a big, it's a big thing, it seems, you know, because I'm seeing a lot of work that just doesn't meet the basic length requirements and you got to meet that um, and because of his or her ability to see these two in depth I think I would grade this probably around a 3.5 or a 